Meditation and More Episode 7 Meditation for Self Healing Hello Welcome to Meditation and More Podcast My name is Venerable Pra John Paramay Thanissaro People call me Longpi John I'm a Theravada Buddhist monk based in Thailand I was a computer engineer a software developer and a PhD holder in telematics before becoming a Buddhist monk in 2008. In the last episode, we talk about how meditation helps us create a positive mindset. Believe it or not, meditation can also increase the ability to heal ourselves. With our close friends, food tastes better. Perhaps our mind feel more at ease and secure. With strangers, taste of food, atmosphere, and overall sense of feeling become inferior. Familiarity is therefore the best test of all. There is no other test that is more superior than familiarity. Once upon a time, in a kingdom far away, there was a group of hermits residing in a mountain. The head of the whole assembly, called Gesawa, had hundreds of followers doing ascetic practices together. Gesawa had a disciple whom he favored the most called Gappa. They used to have nice conversations with each other. One day, the whole hermit assembly went together to the city. Seeing how modest they were, the king felt totally admired by their presence and teachings. The king invited Gesawa to stay in the royal garden for one rainy season. Upon the completion of his stay, Gesawa wanted to go back to the mountain, but the king insisted that Gesawa was already old and should extend his stay for a little longer. It's more comfortable for an old man to stay with all comforts than living a difficult life in the mountains. Gesawa accepted the request of the king and lived in the royal garden. Once all his disciples left, Gesawa, who lived alone without any familiar fellows anymore, missed his disciples so much. He wanted to have conversations with them, especially Kappa, whom he felt very comfortable with the most. His yearn for to be with his disciples caused him insomnia and loss of appetite for food. He became skinnier and later on sick with strange symptoms. The king summoned five best doctors with the best medicine to heal the hermit, but to no avail. The old hermit told the king that his sickness could only be healed if he was able to travel back to the mountain. The king finally allowed Gesawa to return to the mountain and asked his minister to escort the old hermit back home. Upon homecoming, Gesawa spent time with people who loved until his wistfulness disappeared from his mind. Eating only simple food prepared by his beloved disciples, his illness strangely vanished. The food prepared for the old hermit was unable to compare to the king's food at all. The rice and grains were of low quality. Vegetable soup was tasteless. The only medicine that cured the old hermit was familiarity. A while later, the king asked his minister to visit the old hermit. To his surprise, Gesawa did not show any symptoms of pyro illness anymore. The minister asked Gesawa how his disciple attended to his master. Gesawa said that his cue was the virtues of living together with his disciples 
beauty of the mountains, and most importantly, endearing words of Kappa that healed him. The minister was further curious about the quality of the food he ate. You had the best cuisine with refined ingredients as well as the best medicines from the five best doctors. But your sickness could not be healed. How come you got recovered only from eating inferior dishes and flavorless ingredients? Why is your taste so strange then? Gesawa replied that it did not matter whether the food was tasteful or tasteless. A lot or a few. What mattered more was the people having the food together. The place with familiar faces would make the food taste better. This story emphasizes on the virtue of familiarity. When we dine together with our loved ones, the food becomes rich in flavor. Newlyweds can enjoy everything they eat together, no matter what kind of food they are. However, dining with strangers or people we dislike, no matter how well the food is prepared, the taste cannot be compared with the taste of harmony at all. People who live alone with unfamiliar faces will lack the joy of living. And may become sick, caused by their own minds. However, to live with or without familiar faces is something we cannot control. Do you know that you can find that familiarity from within? Meditation creates a feeling of homecoming. The moment of stillness gives us the freedom that we have been longing for. Reuniting with our true selves allows us to enjoy the world, no matter what situations we are dealing with. When the mind is full of satisfaction, we unlock a hidden ability to heal ourselves and become happy, both physically and mentally. Our body has an ability to heal itself, but whether it heals quickly or slowly. Depends on the mind that is governing it. When the mind feels happy, it's not only food that tastes better, but any food will become magic medicine that accelerates the healing effectiveness of the body. It doesn't mean that we don't need to go to hospital and see medical doctors anymore. But the healing speed really varies on the mental strength as well. When we visit our sick friends in hospital, we should only talk about stuff that will make the patient feels more comfortable rather than feeling worried. If we feel sick ourselves, we also should be aware that we should not worry much about the therapy as well. It's like we let the doctor treat our body, while we have to treat the mind ourselves. Together, we can create a better health, an effective self-healing ability, and a peaceful and happy life at last. Let's begin by loosening all the muscles. And closing our eyes softly and gently, you may gaze softly straight forward in order to relax the muscles in your eyes. Let your gaze become softer and softer as you gently. Close your eyes. Give yourself a little smile on your face. That will help the muscles on the face to make it feel more comfortable. As your breath 
flows in and out more and more naturally and easily. I would like you to scan your whole body and feel relaxed from the top of your head all the way to your toes. Relax the muscles on your forehead, the muscles on your cheek, the muscles on your chin. Feel the flow of relaxation going down to your neck, your shoulders, your arms, your hands, down to your fingertips. Relax the muscles on your chest. Feel the flow of relaxation going down to your stomach, your hips, your thighs, your knees. Down to your feet, to the tips of your toes, until you feel completely relaxed in every part of the body. Imagine that you are in a familiar place that keeps you enormous peace of mind. This can be anywhere in the world that you will enjoy sitting there all by yourself. It's a place where you can sit with a smile on your face. It's a way new where even though you are sitting alone, you are not feeling lonely. It's like we are returning to our true home after a long far away expedition. Take one more deep breath softly, slowly and deeply as deep as you can. The turning point of the breath in the middle of a stomach is known as the home of the mind. When the breath arrives to space within our stomach softly and gently. Our mind is getting back to its familiarity. The mind is returning to its home. Let's Take a few more deep breaths to give the mind its homecoming. coming. 
imagine an image of something round and bright, for instance, the sun, the moon, or a star. Pick one that you are the most familiar with. You can be creative in imagining it in terms of size, color, and quality. There is no right or wrong in the result you are feeling. The point is to point the concentration at this very object as if it's the landmark that you have been waiting for so long to see Let's keep our attention and awareness at it softly and gently while you are visualizing the meditation object. Let the mind feel at ease and relax. Don't forget that both relaxation and concentration, we have to go together at all times. We will repeat the mantra a few times. Let the voice expand from within the body center. Samma Arahang Samma Arahang Samma Arahang Samma Arahang Samma means the right way Arahang means the pure state of the mind. Although the mind is yet to reach such a state, walking this path will make the mind purer and purer. Samma Arahang Samma Arahang Samma Arahang Samma Arahang Let the mind rest in such a familiar state that it has been longing for. The surge seems to be over as the mind is feeling more content. Stay still with your relaxation and visualization. 
when you are at home. You can easily forget about everything else in the world. Staying with the meditation object also helps the mind forget and let go of everything else in the world for a moment. Just by letting the mind enjoy resting at the center space, we feel gradually lighter as if the center has no weight, only the presence of a pure element that is soft, still, light, and comfortable. As we come to the end of the meditation, be aware of our surroundings and your own senses. Feel the environment, everyone and everything around you. Feel every part of your body as you breathe in deeply, softly, slowly. Let the mind continue to rest at the center as you breathe down. As you breathe in deeply one more time, feel the fresh air charge with your peace energy. You may softly, slowly, and gently open your eyes. Softly, slowly, and gently open your eyes. Welcome back. I hope you feel relaxed today, and some heavy feelings in your mind have been released. Meditation, when practiced regularly every day, will lead us back to the familiarity within ourselves. We let the mind return to the center of the body, that is the home of the mind. That's how the power of familiarity will make us become healthier, both physically and mentally. So stay with me on this meditation and more podcast. See you again next time.